Hi guys, as promised, I said I was going to try and hit 1800 by next year, 2022. And uh, yeah, I'm currently on 1799, just on the precipice. So this is the game to take me to 1800, like hopefully. Uh, all right, let's get into it. 10 minute game against the 1775. Let's get a car. I, I want to do it with the car card. Let's get it done. This guy not taking himself too seriously with his uh, profile picture. We'd like to see that. French guy. Okay, so he's playing this. This is a bit weird. Here. If here and this. Oh, what do you actually do here? This and this. Back here. My bishop is getting trapped. What do you actually do here? Uh, you got here, right? Like that? Do I block it in? If this here, then this. I'm just going to play a luff move, then I can, I can just stop. I'm just tanking on the clock, thinking about my bishop. Alright, play the luft. Complete the structure. Got a little pyramid going. And now we're continuing with normal caro plans. This, this. I think the engine often likes this move to defend the bishop when your bishop is out on this square. Uh, so I've been playing the carrier for a few months now and starting to try to get these little nuances of when to play different moves, but this is normally the move. Uh, there you, you normally just take, but I can also just develop. I think I'll take and play this. Try get this, res resolve this uh, dark square bishop issue, trying to get it out somehow. Hope you've all have had a lovely Christmas, by the way, guys. I'm a little bit nervous for this one. I I just don't want to have to... Because if I lose this, I might dip way down and... Yeah. Uh, so we got this. We got this. Just develop the knight is what I normally do here. Let's blitz that out. So we're even on time. This and this coming to put more pressure on the center is the standard Caro plan. If this, they can just take, though. So you normally slide the queen out to just defend this pawn. Especially if bishop here. So let's do that. And then we're preparing this and this. Yeah. Yeah, look at this chap. <laughs> All right. Should be going to France soon, guys. I've got my uh, camper van nearly complete. I just need to put the shower shower in the back. I've got fitted a boiler and everything. Um, so yeah, I should be traveling around France and stuff. So here, now people often just do this very natural move. So and it just leads to a fork. So let's play this and give them chance to hang their knight. It, it happens more often than you think. I, I don't know why people don't seem to see it. This, this. Ah, oh, so he takes. And then if I take, he hits my queen. Yeah, probably a good move. But this is check, though. Which helps. Gives me a little extra tempi. They block. If here, attacking the pinned piece, I wanted to get to this square anyway. And then I've got like three attackers on this knight. But they go here and hits the queen. And yeah, I slide back. Still think this is all right. So here, here. And this knight is a little bit awkward. But I mean, it is defended by a pawn. So, so I've just back. Don't see anything wrong with this. I can also play like that. So he just steps out the pin. So if we take, take. If take, take, take. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think I definitely take once. I'm just not sure which knight to get rid of. Probably just trade everything here. Because at the end, this I don't know how strong that pawn structure is with a pawn on this d4 square. Eh. 
if this and they take, it sort of wrecks my pawn structure. So I think I have to take ones. I sort of hope they take with a pawn because I think it gives me a nice target to look at in the future. But yeah, probably probably just an even position if I'm honest, guys. Maybe I'm slightly worse because I'm not castled. Uh, there's this. If uh, if knight takes, take. This. What if they go like this? Take, take, take. I think I'm alright. I, I just need to get castled at this point. But yeah, struggling to find an advantage here. Maybe it just develops like that. If so, I probably take. And if take, okay, we go like that. So I can improve my pawn structure, bring another pawn to the center, like this. Also creates a battery, but then maybe this comes. I slide back. Yeah, I'm gonna take with the pawn. It's maybe a bit more ambitious, and I'm probably gonna come back here in the future. If this, this, here, here. They try crack in on my king. Take, take, and I open up my rook. Okay, so if, it, if, I, if I castle and takes, takes, I look all right. But if castle and push here, bishop takes. Do I castle long? Is that, is that absolutely mental? Do I just castle long, guys? <laughs> or just take? What if I just take this? Uh, here. Castle. They've sort of got three pieces attacking me, though. And I've got, like, no defenders. I don't, I don't really fancy that. <laughs> uh, what do I do? Right, six minutes, we're recording. I don't like this pawn move. Try trade queens. Get into an end game if takes takes. Play this. A, w a, a draw wouldn't do it though. A draw, I'd probably get minus one. <laughs> yeah. So I just need that one Ela. <sighs> take take. That looks, it just looks horrible. I, th I think I'm just going to go wild. <laughs> Although, how fast are these pawns coming at me? This, I go back. I take, I don't really like this, guys. Maybe I'll just try and trade queens. Win the end game. Let's do that. What about this? I take. I I just got a bit scared, to be honest. I like where's my counterplay on his king? Like it's very slow. They've got this and this and I don't know. I tend to do all right if I can get into an end game. It's normally in the like, middle game I tend to mess up. Or the opening. Maybe he goes here to just defend the rook. Keep pieces on the board. Yeah. And now he's got this as well, hitting my queen. Their castle here. This, this, this. Same situation as before. I didn't really like it. Could be some tricks on this rook. If I could deflect the queen, you know, take the rook, mate. Uh, I need to make a decision with my king. Which way am I going to castle here? This takes, takes. 
I, I, I think I'm just going to cut so long. <laughs> it's long term. I might be a, a bit worried though. This pawn looks strong. Break in the center, open up the rook. So if this, this takes, takes, I have to move the bishop again. But I think this could be bait, because I, I quite like it if they play that, I think. Because it, doesn't it just open up a rook for me? Yeah. Or they take, they go there. Here. And now I bring a rook. Wait, what? This doesn't work, does it? If they take this, it's mate. And my queen's also staring at that rook still. Doesn't this just win? They've they've got a check. No, <laughs> this then. If here, I mate them. Oh, it's just this one check here. This pawn. This. Ah, oh, that's almost just one. Here. Let's try it. I'm loving the fact Queen monitors this rook all the time. They, they've got to develop this bishop, and then at least the rooks are defending each other. But even so, this looks super strong. Because once queen moves, queen cannot defend the rook, you know? And then I get takes, takes, takes with mate. Three minutes left, and he's got some real problems. This bishop, this queen, just look awkward. This is not an attacking piece. This is an absolute liability, I think. Giles Saint Fort. <laughs> I just I just got a bit excited about that 1800 ELO, guys. I've got, got to remain calm, right? I was thinking before, no matter whether you're Magnus Carlsen or whether you're the worst player in the world, we've only got so many neurotransmitters in our head, right? Making us happy or sad. So it, it, it sort of evens out, you know? Like when Magnus wins, he doesn't really feel anything. And when a bad player loses, they're sort of used to it, so they don't really care. It, you get me? Uh, whereas when a bad person wins, they're like absolutely ecstatic. So just enjoy where you're at, really. I I'm just loving the look of that move. Especially because the bishop's there defending, so they can't trade, you know, queen for two rooks sort of thing. Bishop defends this square. And now they're having a proper think. I think they know they're in a little bit of trouble. What about, I don't know, somewhat crazy. They just need to get the bishop out. But even so, this. I think they need something drastic here. Like, like I don't know, bishop takes or bishop here. Uh, yeah, they're having a proper thing. <laughs> this is making me uh, a little bit more confident as well. That they're taking this position pretty seriously. This may be going after this square. Is it? I don't know. He hits my queen. Yeah, that's the sort of move he's got to find. But I've got other squares on this diagonal that look juicy. Like, if here, here, and I don't want to invite that because it takes, take. Yeah. I, I, I've got to stay monitoring this rook. So here, can they hit my queen again? That's the only question. Here, can they hit my queen? Here, maybe they can slide back. Here. Even if they slide back and offer a trade, could I go here? They take, I take, but they, they take back. This also hits this pawn. Two minutes against three now. This anyway takes, takes, takes. Takes, take, no. No, I just moved my queen. Here. Then at least I'm hitting this pawn, so if he does come back and trade, maybe 
I don't know. Yeah, he does that. Ah! So does this work? No, because takes, takes, takes back. Oh, this attack's just died out, hasn't it? I nearly had him there. All right, let's trade. One minute left. And I'm just up a pawn, am I? I'm a little bit more developed and more active as well, so. This, just compete for this open F file. Oh, that surely. Surely I take, right? I don't know why, I just take that, right? These pawns look a little weird. Uh, this. This is hanging, actually. Uh, so here. Here. Put it on a light square. That, he double isolates my pawns. This. Takes, not working. Go after this pawn here. Take towards the center, maybe? I don't know. He gets in, I come here with my king. Maybe he comes here, wins that pawn. Uh, what am I, just a pawn up? He's winning that, don't see how I defend it if this. I just, do I go after this? He just comes here though. This. I'd like to win this pawn, then king can come up. One minute against two. Mate, I'm just trying to stay a pawn up here. This looks very solid. It's also got this here. King always def I need to defend this base here. What's he having to think about? I can take this, right? He's not got any tricks with the bishop. No forks. Yeah, he plays that. I was thinking this. I'm just going to play it. Maybe free up. This is a check. If I take this way. Then I get this pawn. So let's pre-move that. One minute on the clock. Uh, this pawn. He gets that. Uh, I just come up with a king. Oh no, this... Mm. Uh, can't take because he takes my rook here then it's coming up with the king this this alright this is tricky this is really tricky now one minute I'm up a pawn but he's got this nasty pass pawn here come on come on guys This, just eye the pawn, here. This looks awkward for him, maybe that, okay, I'm coming up with my king. This looks nice, if here I take, he gets this pawn though, but. Uh, uh, can I go like that, or like this, here? This. Can I do this, just throw in a check, does that help? this if he gives me a check I don't think it works because I get this square this looks nice pushing this pawn now 40 seconds <laughs> I'm so tense right now guys come on 1800 uh, this should be alright maybe this we want to play this but this takes this this here oh that's not a good move I don't think I don't think that works at all 30 seconds because now I, this pawn is mine this force him there here king guards this Thirty seconds. Come on. Just need to stay aware of the time. 
Maybe King comes back. Uh, this. If King comes all the way up. Or just this. Uh, King up. Oh, am I being too slow? Here? And my, and my rook's now free. Freeze up my rook. This. We're down. We're coming down. Coming down. Down and around. Uh, but this though. If the, oh, I'm just going to have to move. 13 seconds. I think I can sack my rook. Uh, if this, this, this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if this is working. This. Is this working? I sack the rook. God! <laughs> Right, yeah, there, I just go take, wait, whose go is it? So there I go, they, they don't really have a move. So here, take, take, promote. But I was thinking it is the check to deflect the king away from the queen, but it this is check. So that does win. Two blunders, five mistakes. Oh, the last few days, guys, I've been, I've had a, good run i've been playing like 80 percent, 90 percent accuracy recently but that was not good <laughs> it was me, me whenever i talk and re try record it does does impact my play a little bit but we got the win guys yeah 71 percent said i actually played worse than him i don't know how that's possible when i, I was winning where did i go i went badly wrong here a few times then so this position looked all right. This was a very good move from him. Uh, just this, and then he hits my queen. It was a little bit awkward, but I just took everything off. And yeah, and that was the this position. I really started tanking, didn't I? Castled long. I, it, it was not optimal, but I didn't know what to do. Just a defensive move there. And that was best move. And they had to find, they had to find this. But this end game was slightly nice for me because I thought these pawns looked a little weak. Um, oh, I did give up that though. And then this, it was just very even. I thought here it was nice that I got the check. Yeah. So instead of that, he should have just given me a check. Come up. Okay, but the way I got check here then won the pawn was very nice. Why is that a blunder? Because it allows this move, which was pretty strong, giving him a pass pawn. But I was always monitoring it. <sighs> 1800, that is nuts, guys. Some of you have followed me since I was like 12, 1300, so I appreciate the support. I appreciate everyone who supported me on buying me a coffee, allowing me to make the time to do these videos. Uh, See you in the new year as we push on towards 2000. Cheers.